When I, when I think back to before we cast her, I literally kind of get a panic attack where I, I, I can't, I've blocked out the years and years that we spent stressing about what do we do if we mess up in this bit of casting? Who, who could possibly play this role? Hi, I'm Ashley Williams. And for those of you who watch How I Met Your Mother, I am the one who is not the mother. I was pretty sure I wasn't. I, I would love to have been. I think that must have been such a big deal for them to kind of figure out who yeah. is that going to be that the fans would fall in love with her. She's fantastic. on How I Met Your Mother. Because <laughs> I think the perception was from the studio and the network that it was going to be a big stunt cast. Um, by stunt cast, I mean a big celebrity, and it was only going to be in the last minute of the end episode of the series ever. Then we changed that. Then we got year nine. That was our eight-year plan. They gave us a ninth year, and we said, OK, we really want to reward our fans for sticking with us for, for eight years. I love the new plan, but it was not the plan the whole time. I just think we, we lucked into a much better end of the series uh, by virtue of getting picked up for year nine. And they came in here and they said, we want to we wanna add the mother for our last season, and we want her to be a total unknown. That was, that was always our goal, not to cast some big celebrity, known commodity person as the mother, but to feel that America was meeting someone special, too. A year before, I had actually gone to go see Kristen on Broadway um, in Once. Like, I was totally in love with her. I was like, that's the girl, that's the girl, that's the girl. So I went running back into Carter's office, and I said, it's, it's Kristen Milioti. Boy, credit goes to our casting director, Marissa Ross, um, for having the idea to cast Kristen Milioti. Agent and manager called me, and they said, um, How I Met Your Mother is interested in talking to you about doing a role in the show for the final season. We have no idea what it is. No one knows what it is. But um, would you be interested in Would you be interested in it? And so they set up a Skype meeting with Carter and Craig, and I sat in a little room in my New York's, my New York agent's office. The next thing I knew, they called uh, and flew me out here to do a chemistry read with Josh uh, that was like very tough secret. And I had like put it together by that point. Like once I read the sides and once I came here and like, you know, like they locked the makeup trailer and there was five people on set, like meh, I kind of put it together. And when Kristen and Josh did their scene. I went out to this dance club on oh, a- St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. Yeah, on St. Patrick's Day. And you left it there? Yeah. Yeah, no, I left it there. And I left it there. And you never thought you'd see it again? No. I never thought I'd see it again. And I never thought I'd see it again. It's funny how sometimes you just find things. Funny how sometimes you just find things. We all knew, like everyone, we, uh, Susie Greenberg and myself and whoever else was sort of there started crying because it was just like, Oh, we're done. We're here in Penn Station, uh, where the Long Island Railroad uh, uh, goes out to the Hamptons. Uh, uh, it's a set here on stage 10 at the Fox lot, and we're shooting a top secret scene. This is a scene that has not appeared in any script or in any outline uh, or any uh, documentation of the show whatsoever. That was fantastic. Uh, coming in on that uh, very special day, to film that train station scene, you know, they had uh, they had like a different sound stage. It was on lockdown. I was escorted there in the dark of night on a golf cart, um, and I met everyone the first time for the first time in this sort of like white hot panic. But they just gave this like beautiful round of applause, and they introduced me, and it was like the warmest room I'd ever been in. Guys, say hi to Kristen Milioti. It's a really good memory. Uh, and I waved to everyone and was so nervous. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so go around, say your names. And then we had to build this set and fill it with extras who will all who are all uh, members of the How Met Your Mother staff and crew. Just so we're not bringing in any outside people. Uh, so every feet, all the feet you see walking by are all uh, attached to people who work on the show. All I had to do was walk with that umbrella, and I we did it like 70 times. What we're going to shoot here, we're going to see some feet walking right down this, uh, and you'll see, like, 
you know, there's there's no background here because we don't really need background. We're just going to be shooting the floor, feet walking along the floor. And then she's going to come forward to like right here. And there's going to be another guy standing right here. And then this guy moves. And there's a red mark right there, the red mark. That's As the guy steps aside, we're going to reveal it's like the curtain coming up. There's going to be a yellow umbrella right here, a girl right here saying, One ticket to Farhampton, please. Uh, and it was fun. We watched the season finale uh, at this bar, McGee's, that's the basis for McLaren's in New York. With her, uh, we watched the moment uh, that she aired to America. And it was really fun to watch her, her mind explode a little bit. <laughs> she was like, she kind of had that moment of like, oh, I'm really the mother. And this is airing on national television. Well, thanks for being here with me now. Thanks for bringing me. Thanks for bringing me. Mm. Wow, it is like bonger is beautiful here. Mm. I put a ring on it, is what I did. Yeah. And then we freaked out. And then we freaked out. She freaked out, and then I freaked out. I'm talking about it, I've never proposed marriage to anyone, and I've never, you've never been proposed to. I've never to. been proposed to. So this is a uh, day of many firsts. Day of firsts for us. So yeah, we, we waited through more than half of season nine to tell Kristen about how the series ends and, and what happens to her character at the very end. Um, because we, we didn't want her to be playing playing to that. We just wanted her to be sort of present, and we are all discovering this character together. And I broke into hysterical tears and really embarrassed myself. And I was sitting there, and he was like, are you OK? Or is everything OK? And I was like, mm -hmm. it's really beautiful. That's a beautiful ending. And as we kind of got through the, the shock of her learning that, um, she said she thought it was, it was beautiful, but sad and, and real. And it was an immediate reaction. But I think it's a beautiful ending. I can't imagine now anyone else uh, doing it.